Hey everybody, I'm Gary and you're watching Daydream About Nice Things. I had planned on uh, a pretty awesome video with some good views today, but last night in our state, we live in uh, North Alabama, we had some pretty bad uh, storms and tornadoes. So we're gonna do this video today from inside the rig, which is our 2014 uh, Forest River work and play that we're so proud of and like so much. So come on in and uh, I'll tell you about a uh, cool little product that uh, might benefit somebody. See you inside. Hey everybody, we are sitting inside of our rig. Uh, it's a little messy. We just got back a, a week or so ago and we're like everybody else. Uh, it takes us a while to get it cleaned up. <clears throat> We've actually cleaned it all out. We don't have another trip planned till January. Uh, I'll be leaving at the end of December here in just a couple of weeks, going to Uganda uh, on a mission trip for a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to put out a, a few videos on that trip. I'm probably going to do some uh, pretty interesting videos. Like, uh, I'll probably do some on food. Uh, like, for instance, uh, over there where we eat peanuts in a bag. Here, at, you know, like at events. Over there, they eat uh, fried uh, incinanies, I think that's how it's pronounced. Basically, crickets. <clears throat> I didn't think that, uh, excuse me, I didn't think that I would, uh, I would be able to eat stuff like that, but, uh, actually they grow on you after a while, uh, it's pretty cool, uh, and you get to where you're eating them and you don't really think about it, but, uh, but anyway, I'll do, I'll do a video on just the food, they have awesome food over there, the first time I went, it was hard to get used to it, but, uh, like the old saying goes, when in Rome, do it to Romans, not necessarily all the time, but, when in Uganda, eat like a Ugandan, and you'll come back and you'll have gained weight. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good food. A lot of food similar to what we eat here. Just cooked a little different, and uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's really good. i also uh, hopefully be able to feature uh, some videos about a safari, a real-life safari we're going to take. I've been on this safari a few times. It is awesome. We'll get to see some pretty cool animals up close and personal if it's like it's been in the past i hated that i didn't youtube or do a lot of social media when i started going because i did never did take any uh, a lot of videos or pictures of the awesome uh, thing that i got to do back then but uh the older i get the more i realize that uh how important it is to uh, record it document it and leave it for my kids and the next generation to see it because a lot of you guys don't get to go and experience it and uh, you live it through us. But anyway, that'll be a pretty cool uh, video as well. Also, I got uh, another series on it while I'm in Uganda that I will uh, uh, do a little video on. It's about a grail water filter mug, is what I call it. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, I was introduced to this back when they kicked off this product. So I was actually one of the first ones to uh, to get one. Uh, that grail had been in the water filter business, but they came up with this new one. I forgot exactly what it's called, but I'll go over all that with y'all in that video. I'm going to use it in every element that I can while I'm there. It's going to be a life changer for me. I'm always having to carry water in my backpack when I'm over there. So this is going to be really cool. Uh, it's going to save me a little bit of money and aggravation. It's going to save me a lot more aggravation probably than money. And buying water, it's just going to be not to have to keep up with it. But that's some things to look forward to in the next few weeks. Uh, I assure you as we go on that our videos will get better. I'm learning. Uh, and I've never done any of this before. But uh, I've got a lot of people I watch and learn from. And I'm trying to learn as much as I can about video and it, uh, video and my experiences because, like I say, never done that before. So, uh, but anyway, that's what we got to look forward to. Today, what I'm going to talk about is really interesting. Uh, I knew that when we released, started releasing videos, 
that you guys would notice something about me and some of you would have questions about that and uh and and, and i'm happy it, it don't embarrass me it don't uh, uh offend me for people to ask but i just thought when, at the beginning of this youtube channel why don't we just all get to know who we are and y'all know us and then as time goes on y'all learn more and more about us but why not answer that question before it's ever asked and in the process i might be able to help somebody because this is a pretty unique uh situation so here it goes and uh, uh i don't tell this story a lot a lot of the people that knows me knows this story i graduated high school in 1986 uh in in 2000 around in there uh, i started having my hair cut short and people noticed things about me that they never knew when we were in high school. The story is, 1968, I was born with one ear. I don't see that as a big thing. It is a big thing as a parent, I guess, looking at it. But I grew up all my life with one ear. Well, in 1968, technology wasn't like it is today. So we didn't have all this you know, modern medicine and all that. So it, it's sort of a new, it was cutting edge for them to even do surgery. So to cut to the chase, I was born without anything. And I, I don't know if y'all can see that very well. But anyway, but the doctors in 1968, 1970, decided that they wanted to try to make me an ear. Uh, on the inside, I think everything was pretty, pretty good. Actually, I have good tone hearing. And I'm telling this story because a lot of people out there don't know about this technology that I'm fixing to tell you about, even though it's been out a few years. There's a lot of people out there not hearing only because they don't know. And their are RVers and their campers and their are RVers for kids. And I learn about it through my daughter. But anyway, so in 1970-ish, they started making me an ear. It didn't work. Uh, what I have is more than what I had when I started with. But my mom and dad always let me wear long hair. So other people never did see the, uh, the bad ear. Uh, in the 70s, it wasn't uncommon for people to have kids have long hair. And so dad always let me wear long hair. In the south here in North Alabama, a lot of kids had short hair, but my dad and my mom, they they allowed me to have long hair, and I wasn't the only one. There was a lot of people that was starting to be a thing. Anyway, so uh, lots and lots and lots of years later, I'm an adult, we have kids. Our daughter slips and falls in our kitchen, and she had socks on, and our house that we lived in at the time had a concrete slab subfloor. She landed on her tail and spinal foot started coming out of her left ear. Long story short, they had to plug her ear up. And when the doctors come out and told us what they had to do during the surgery, he said, hey, we got this new device come out. It's called a Baja implant made by Cochlear. And it's this new technology and, and said, we're, we're going to do Keisha one of these. And I'm saying, hey, I want one. You know, it, it, I've never been able to hear you know, I can't, I can't hear the things you guys can hear, or couldn't at the time. You know, she gets one, I learned about it through her. That's why I'm telling y'all the story. But anyway, so, anyway, after she gets hers, I get mine. I get pretty emotional talking about this, because I never thought it was a big deal. I grew up all my life hearing out of one ear. It wasn't great. I never had great hearing in, in the one good ear I had. I grew up not hearing crickets outside my window. I grew up not hearing, you know, birds sing. And I could hear water run like through a creek, but not like you guys here. So when Dr. Pappas tested me to make sure that I would qualify, they put this headband on me that was really, really tight. 
And I heard the copy machine run. I'd never heard the copy machine run. I had heard the air running in the central unit. I could hear water running in the water faucet. It just blew me away. I'd never been up here. I did not realize what I was not getting. So they do surgery on me and they put an anchor screw and I'm not going to be able to show it but I'm going to uh, I will put some uh, pictures up in the video to sort of show you guys what it looks like and maybe able to post a video I don't know what I'll get into in copyright stuff but if I don't get to post it I will tell y'all how to find it in the description but basically what it is it is a little bitty looks like a hearing aid the difference is you hear it squealing because I still got it on it has a little clip right here whoops little clip right here and then on my head, I have a, uh, it's like a snout. It's what some people call it. And this literally snaps in it. The anchor is in my skull. It sticks out of my head. It sounds a little gross, but it's not bad. And this snaps in it. And how it works is, is the outside is basically a, a computer processor, basically in a nutshell. And it sends that sound through my skull, and my skull sends it into all my hearing stuff. Now, I'm not a doctor or a hearing doctor, and I don't know all about that. And you think a man that had been through all this his whole life could tell you every little detail about it. But basically, in a nutshell, modern technology from cochlear, which people that make the cochlear implant, I know y'all heard of that. They make this, and it's called the Baja. How cool is it to be called Baja implant? when you're talking to a bunch of camping people that like to go, you know, to uh, camping in all these BLM lands and Baja, California and all these places. But anyway, it's pretty cool. Anyway, but it's called Baja Implant. Uh, and actually insurance, uh, most insurance pays for it to be put in with this. And then after you uh, have to replace this part, that's when it gets into insurance don't pay as much and all but but anyway we actually uh have seen people actually qualify through government assistance to get these so it's something that everybody can get and everybody can use but why i'm telling you guys about it on the rv slash travel slash missionary fun channel is because i would have never got to experience the things that i get to experience now when we carry our rig out camping. I would have never got to hear the fire crackle at the campfire. And I never would have got to experience the things that most people take for granted. And I never would have knew about it, or I don't think I would have ever known about it, had my daughter not had her accident. Not saying that I'm glad it happened, but I'm saying that because if she hadn't have had her deal and told me, I wouldn't have known about it. I'm hoping that me telling you guys will help somebody else. And that's a nutshell of why I'm telling you. This whole channel is going to be about fun and happiness. And uh, I, I write on some of my stuff on social media. It's for bad days come to die. That's what this is about. Not having hearing in one side of your head is a bad day. And so anything that I can do to help you guys get rid of that bad day, that's what we're going to talk about here, and that's what we're going to show in some videos, and, and we're going to have fun. Me and my wife like to camp and travel a lot, so there's going to be a lot of stuff on here that hopefully y'all find fascinating. But uh, I had planned on, I got a real good spot here close to our home. I was going to give y'all some good Tennessee River shots from the bluff. Uh, but like I said earlier, we had some bad storms roll through here last night and I was running out of time. I really wanted to get this video posted by Wednesday. And so I had to, uh, work with what I had. Uh, so, but we'll have more videos and more cool stuff. And, uh, I got some pretty, we'll, we'll have some fun in Uganda. 
along with helping people at the same time. We're going to uh, go visit two well sites, too. I forgot to mention that. So, uh, But anyway, if you know anybody that might can be benefited from this, it's probably going to be somebody that you're going to probably least expect that might need it. It's going to be the person like me that always had the long hair that you know that can't hear good. Or maybe uh, I got a friend that's a burn victim. He don't have an ear to put a hearing aid in. Uh, he actually has his all his hearing, the things he needs, but he can't hear good because of the damage done during, he was involved in a, a leaf fire when he was a kid. But he can't wear a hearing aid like I have in my right ear that like everybody else that hides behind your ear. So that's going to be the kind of people that can benefit from this. So I won't hold you guys up. I look forward to y'all being with us on this channel. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a blast. I hope that you give us a chance to produce some great videos. Uh, and come along for the ride. It's going to be a blast. If you like this video, share it. And maybe we can impact a lot of people. Subscribe below if you can. If you like it that much. If you want to come along for the ride, like it. If you don't care. And uh, have a great day. Peace.